Over 40 bills were signed by Governor Mike Parson this year, and as of today, many of those new laws have gone into effect. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Abreu. Good to have you along here at 10. Once again, I'm David Oliver. Color 10's Madison Heaver is live in our newsroom tonight with some clarity for us on what those bills are all about. Madison? Yeah, David, I spoke with uh, Speaker of the House Elijah Har and Minority Leader Crystal Quaid. Now, they both uh, represent Springfield and they sit on different sides of the aisle, but they could agree on one thing, and that's that the session was productive. Now, they both believe, though, that there's especially this one new law that they're proud of. I think the, the biggest pieces of legislation that we passed this year, uh, we passed three pieces of legislation on workforce development. Uh, we passed a significant piece on the Infrastructure and Bonding Act. Uh, we also passed House Bill 126, which was the pro-life bill. Uh, we passed Haley's Law. There's a variety of other smaller pieces of legislation, but I would say those are probably the ones that, that took up the most time and, uh, and print, as they say. While Minority Leader Crystal Quaid has some differing opinions than Republican Speaker Elijah Har, they both say they're proud of some of the laws that are now in effect. There are um, a handful of bills that got a lot of bipartisan support. Uh, we saw some around um, human and sex trafficking that uh, was sponsored by both sides of the aisle. They both were supportive of Haley's law. It updates the Amber Alert system, reducing the amount of time it takes to send out an alert and it requires the board to meet once a year to discuss changes to the system. Obviously, the story of Haley is something that has been deeply impactful to everybody in the Springfield community. Because of what happened, some members of our local delegation have been attempting to update the Amber Alert system. That's Representative Curtis Trent, who also represents Springfield and Quaid. The legislation took five years to become law after Haley Owens, a 10-year-old girl from Springfield, was abducted and murdered. Quaid says often bills like these don't get passed for several years due to legislators' agendas that they have with their own constituents. Oftentimes, um, even if it's an issue that both sides agree upon, it does take time to just go through the process. Um, there are 163 legislators and all have different priorities, and so it can take, it's not uncommon for something to take two or three years for it to actually make the finish, across the finish line. Haley's law was added as part of an omnibus bill that requires a physician to communicate with parents of a minor patient before placing a do not resuscitate order on a child. Now, in addition to uh, Haley's law, there are some other bills that became law today as well. Those include the law that reduces prison sentences for nonviolent crimes, the law that would allow uh, the Department of Revenue to revoke your license if it's determined that you were negligent in hitting a worker in a work zone or a first responder, and some licensing fees increased for driver's licenses, operator's licenses, and vehicle title transfers. Now, there are a couple of laws that did not go into effect today. That includes the abortion ban um, uh, at eight weeks uh, of pregnancy, and also the law that would limit local government from making uh, restrictions against big industrial farms. Back to you guys.